Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode, I'm your host Bansale and today we are back with another enclosure speed build in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, quick disclaimer, if you do hear some snoring and a lot of wind um, in this episode, it is because my dog is asleep right next to me uh, as I record the audio and my window is wide open as it is like 33 degrees outside. And people in the UK don't go with heat that well, so so that that explains everything. Today we are going to be making the um, Lux Lake. Uh, this will contain uh, most well both of the Lux Parasaurolophus skins in Jurassic World Evolution Two. Um, I know the enclosure looks quite small. It doesn't stay this big. It gets bigger. Um, so, so it's not tiny, even though it's 4x4 chain links, but whatever. Um, but, yeah, if you do end up enjoying, please leave a like and subscribe, uh, if you're new. Um, and if you want, you can push notifications so you get notified whenever I upload. There's two options, there's one for frequent and there's one for all. I recommend pressing all as I only upload three times a week. Um, but, yeah, in for this build, I did take inspiration from uh, Evolution Square. Uh, for this one, she made one pretty similar. She did she did the Lux Parasol's Lake, but she called it something else. And I took a bit of inspiration from it. I didn't watch the video before I went into this. I, I did watch it, like, ages ago. However, I watched it quite a while ago. I don't remember much from it. But... I've just taken away the fact uh, that it's a Lux Lake with Paris Rolfus in. Um, but, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's one other thing that I took from it as well, but you'll see at the uh, end of this video. Well, like, towards like, the middle, actually. But, yeah, if you were to implement something like this in your park, I would, m I would make it the main attraction, personally. Unless you have like a super lagoon in your park or something like that. Because I reckon this could be either one of the main or one of the... Just like something to go along with the main. Not the main, but something to go along with it. Because it looks very good, but it doesn't act as a main attraction. Uh, here you can see me mess around with the, um, the fences because they're both different. Um, and it took me ages to do this, just because I couldn't find what one it was. So yeah, that's just me messing around with it for ages on end. And I finally found it. So yeah, uh, I at the end of this park, it's pretty symmetrical. It's not asymmetrical at all, I would say. Uh, but it does end up looking very nice, and I... I'm very happy with it personally. Um, so yeah, at the end you'll get some overview shots of the guest section as well. There's a bit that you don't see in the video. What what I add is literally just a few hotel. There's like two hotels and some other things which I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure there's definitely more. Um, but yeah, I have a few upcoming videos. I'll give you some of the names: my Manticore Island, my Jurassic World, my uh, there's another speed build, my favorite Xenosaurus speed build, which will be on Friday or Wednesday, Friday or Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so these are all my enclosures. I will be doing camp creatures soon, but uh, I have been like lately informed that I'm going on like not a holiday, but I'm just going away for a little while. Um, so, half of these videos have been recorded today, um, because I had, like, pretty much no warning, so I had to, like, spam record, essentially, but now it's been pushed back by, like, two days, so I have time to edit all my videos and get a few more out, thankfully, and this is my first one, so, whew. Here, I'm just adding some background forest, because... Yeah, it just looks nicer. I'm building on the Germany map as well, which I I really like the Germany map. 
it's spacious, it's it's everything you need really. It's got a beach, it's got grass, it's got forest, it's got everything. It's a really good park. And I enjoy building on it. So that's uh, always good. So yeah. Uh, here I'm actually uh, putting in the tour now. Um, I did not mean to place that camera point, but it's there now anyway, so it'll always be there um, throughout the thing. But now, like, just going through with this tour is re very, very annoying. As I'm like still getting used to keyboard, it's like it's just the way I have to like, click onto keys and stuff is it's just annoying. It is really annoying. Uh, again, sorry for really bad commentary. Um, com com commentary. Uh, I'm not the best at it. I'll tell you that for sure. But yeah, if I do sound like very like, low effort, it's because I am really really hot. Cause like the it's summer currently, and oh, heat is my worst enemy. Essentially. I prefer the cold. The winter is just mm, just a lot better than the summer. Just get me out of the summer already. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what I do now. I think I put the... Oh, yeah, I know what I do. So, here, I think this is from Evo's video. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this bit of advice was to add... Uh, like kind of enclose your tours and I just did it for this front bit because I didn't want to do it for the like during the actual thing so it's better to put it here so it's out like so it's just something nice at the start of the park and then yeah it's just voila it's just a lot better easier than going around the entire thing so it's better at the start uh, but yeah. And they, I missed the space. Uh, I missed a few spaces, but uh, but I think it's, it works well enough. Now I'm starting to, uh, like, work on the guest section, and we always have circles in our parks. And I also have a fountain added. This part took me a while, because I couldn't find what to do there, so I just end up using the facility path and like go from the bottom piece and it ended up looking alright the only thing is like the other path bits go a bit weird some of them like curve in and stuff like you can see at the end but they start to curve in and go out and stuff I don't know why that is but it, it happens so it's whatever and it don't really matter anyway here is like curving and stuff, I don't know what's happening, so I just end up doing it the way I was doing it earlier, and I don't know why I wasn't at the start, but I just was anyway. Um, but I really like little guest sections like this with like the circles, and like it's like a little roundabout. Uh, because you can use like roundabouts now to go wherever you want in the park, and it's a lot easier just to like go in like a straight line. Not a lot easier, but it's a lot better than just going in a straight line. Um, what I found as well, I found a glitch on mine that it won't let me change my uh, amenity options. So I originally made a drink shop and I couldn't change it to a gift shop for some reason. But anyway, I'm gonna show you some overview shots and uh, and you'll see the guest section anyway. But this video is gonna get wrapped up, so. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a like, subscribe, and wait and comment what else you want to see. Uh, here's the guest section, hotels, everything, and here's the little roundabout I did. It's pretty nice. This build only took me 32 minutes, which I'm just quite proud of, and and yeah, so like it 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 was a decent one, I think. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't amazing. But it was decent. So, yeah. I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy the overview shots. And I'll see you in the next video.
best known for its extraordinary head adornment, the crest curves upwards. 